the 3-7 Miami Dolphins are traveling to the Meadowlands in Week 11 to take on the 2-7 New York Jets at MetLife Stadium on Sunday. Brian Flores' team is starting to feel more confident, especially after an upset win over the Baltimore Ravens on Thursday night in Week 10. Their defense has been playing great, but their offense has yet to pick up the pace. Luckily, they'll be facing off with a Jets team who have been struggling more than they have this season. New York has lost a bunch of key players including their starting quarterback, rookie Zach Wilson, to injuries. This week, they'll turn the offense over to Joe Flacco. Here are four things the Dolphins can do to earn a victory in this first of two matchups with the Jets. Get pressure on Joe Flacco. While Flacco is an experienced veteran he is even less mobile now at 36 years old than he was in his prime with the Ravens. In a 2020 meeting with the Jets, the Dolphins were able to sack the quarterback three times and force him into throwing one interception. If Miami continues to use safety blitzes this week, Flacco may have the poise to get the throw off down the field, but it's more likely that he'll make mistakes or turtle and take a sack. Get push on the offensive line. Miami offensive line has been appropriately named this season because they have been downright offensive for a majority of the year. Whether it's Liam Eikenberg, Austin Jackson, or Jesse Davis, it feels like someone is always giving up pressure or getting beat to a spot. The Jets have one of the fourth worst rushing defense per game, but if the Dolphins line plays the way they have in the first 10 weeks, it seems unlikely that they'll be able to take advantage. Get push, protect Tua Tungavailoa, and give the back some running room. Attack Bryce Hall and Javelin Guidry. Aside from three or four players, the Jets' defense has a lot of holes that can be exploited. This year, Hall has been the team's top corner, playing 98% of snaps. However, the 24-year-old is allowing a 119.1 passer rating when targeted. Guidry hasn't been on the field as often, as he's playing 39% of defensive snaps. However, of the top four cornerbacks in terms of snap totals, he's allowing the highest passer rating of them all with a 135. The Dolphins' weapons aren't the best in the league but they should be able to find some mismatches and get open. Limit their own mistakes. When the Dolphins have lost in 2021, it can be argued that they were simply the cause of their own problems. They were losing turnover battles by a wide margin and giving up the ball at the worst times. How many times can you create a turnover and then immediately give the ball back and throw away all momentum? Miami did that multiple times this season. If they can keep the ball in their hands and not stall drives with stupid penalties, they should be able to overcome the challenges that the Jets present and win the game.